right, guys, so one last look of the layout here before I go ahead and take this apart and then start uh, putting foam in here. These are the critical dimensions on the corner of the battery along with the front of the uh, solenoid mount. So I, I'm going to take some measurements uh, height-wise the best I can, and then that way whenever I have the foam in here, I can estimate where it's going to clear. And then for shaping that foam, I went ahead and I got some floral foam and then just some basic spray adhesive. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and go to the uh, uh, body shop supply place and then go ahead and get like as much fiberglass stuff as I can because right now it's Friday and I just wanna be able to work on this through the weekend. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that stuff before I get all dirty chopping up foam and then I'll come back and I'll start jamming away on this. So I hope it's gonna look good. stuff just, just touch it and it's just it, there's foam everywhere there's foam everywhere it's in my hair I wore a mask but it's probably in my lungs it's in the house somehow I don't know how I haven't been in there but it's probably in there probably in my car I don't know probably in the dog's fur it's probably in the refrigerator it's probably just every it's everywhere everywhere oh my gosh but I have a really crappy looking buck made. You notice it's a little smaller here. I did that because I want the fiberglass to take up that thickness and be at the same, you know, outside diameter as say the tube or the hoop. But overall I gave it a profile that's kind of similar in shape to the tank. And then right here, it's got a little bit sharper of a bend. And I've never made one of these. I don't know if this thing's any good. It's so soft and it's so bumpy from trying to glue it together. I had a lot of problems with the hot glue gun I used. It just it seemed like it was kind of chaotic. So I think what I might do, um, I need to do some searching and maybe see if there's like an epoxy I can put over this to kind of lock it in place that I can sand or if I just want to go ahead and get like Bondo and just cream the thing and just sand it flat and fill in the gaps and that'll actually give me a nice smooth surface to you know to, to fiberglass over it's probably gonna end up being Bondo um, I've seen a lot of people they just put tape over them and stuff but they they're starting with a better looking piece so instead of starting over I feel like I might be able to save this still 
but we'll see. Anyway, um, there's foam everywhere. It's it's insane. This is not fun. Over here. All right, so it's a new day, and I've calmed down a little bit. So. Next issue is I want to make this thing very smooth. I can't just tape over it, you know, with these grooves in here from the glue and expect it to be smooth and durable and sit up under the fiberglass. So I wanted to uh, create a hard surface. And what I've done, I just went ahead and bought some automotive Bondo, slathered it on, slathered it on a uh, just a test block to make sure that it's not going to melt it and it negatively affect the green foam. So it looks good though. Um, it's set up nice. I'm gonna go ahead and sand this and just see what it's like to work with. And then I'll go ahead and do the same treatment to the actual buck. We'll see how that goes. All right, cool. So I just took the DA to this thing and takes this down nicely and remains, remains sturdy. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start working on gooping that thing up. And we'll go from there. Alright, so I've got the buck made, I've got it sanded down. I do, this is uh, two layers so far, um, just getting it, getting it dialed in where I want it. I do have to put a little bit back in here, some that flaked out, and then I got a little thin on this side. But other than that, it's really close, I gotta take a little off here in this corner. And I think I'll, I'll be right there. So. It should fit on here uh, really well. I did, as I said, I built this a little small. That way I can build up thickness with fiberglass. It's gonna be, you know, not like a quarter inch thick, but you know, hopefully eighth to, you know, three sixteenths or something. Build up the thickness and it'll look a little bit more flush with the hoop. And to reiterate, I have never done this. I've never, I've actually never used Bondo before. I've never made anything out of foam. Um, so th this is all learning experience for me and I've never fiberglassed either so whenever I actually start to uh, lay fiberglass down tomorrow that's gonna be another learning experience so yeah um, I'm sure some some people are probably gonna watch this and point out a few things I'm gonna do that I'm doing wrong or I could have done better and that's fine if you have any suggestions you know leave them in the comments below but this is where I'm at right now and I'm going to keep working and I'll, you know, I'm going to probably quit for today and then uh, be back tomorrow and 
finish this thing up, see if we can get some fiberglass on it, because that would be that would be really cool. So yeah, I think it's gonna look pretty awesome. So here we are. I've got three layers of, or three coats of paint on this thing. It's still drying. It's just primer right now. Something to seal it. Um, and if you get real close, you can see a few little divots and stuff in there. But man, I think this is going to work out really good. I like the shape. It looks good on the bike. Um, I, th I think it's going to work. So I'm going to let this just really hard cure for the next few hours and. Uh, then I'm going to come back and wax it up and start laying fiberglass on it and I just, uh, I don't know, I hope it goes well, but I'm kind of digging the shape. I left it a little bit taller uh, on, that rear, on that rear slope than maybe I'd originally thought, but I like it. I don't know, it just, I think it fits the bike. So we're going to see how this goes. But this is definitely, definitely, a, definitely a learning experience here. You know, gotta pick up, pick up new skills where you can. Keep learning every day. And if this one doesn't work, then you know what? We're just gonna, we're gonna try again. And waste another, you know, few days. So, anyway, yeah, check back in a few hours. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on uh, laying down the fiberglass. I put a little bit of ducting tape on this to seal up any tiny little pinholes and, and uh, areas where I could see any of the foam. There was like a little crack here. Um, and I just want to do that just so I don't melt down the, the foam on the inside. And this stuff's laid on here so thin you shouldn't be able to, shouldn't be able to see it regardless to be on the inside anyway. I've got a few pieces cut out here. I, I hope it's going to lay down good. We won't know until I try it. But I'm going to use as my release agent on top this primer just some carnauba wax. I'll lay it on there real thick, and then, and then uh, get that spread out, resin it, and or get my resin mixed up, and then start laying fiberglass. A little nervous, but you know what? We gotta try it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll do a time lapse for all this because I have no idea how long it's gonna take. So I'm gonna set the camera up, and we'll get going. <laughs>
Well, I cracked it there from the blowgun just pushing on it, but hmm, that's not critical. Oh, I think, oh, that released really well. Cool. Very cool. So I'm actually really pleased with this thing. I've done a little bit of block sanding and uh, just to knock off some little fibers and edges and whatnot, but it, it appears to fit on here um, as expected. And then the biggest concern was actually the clearance with the battery to the uh, rear corners right here. I feel like I could probably fit, fit an entire finger back there. Um, yeah, so I can actually, uh, where my mold was, it's probably about an eighth eighth inch higher uh, I did a black marker right here on the inside um, so I could actually sand it down about an eighth inch and get it you know get it really dialed in um, but man I think it looks really good I I don't really have a need to make this super strong it's actually uh, I mean it flexes a little bit but it's a thin piece and it's not doing anything structurally so I don't know. I don't know if I'll add more to it to try to beef it up or not. I don't really have that big of a need to. So now I'm excited. I can work on mounting it. I can, I'm probably going to end up doing uh, some metal, metal tabs along the side here to give it, you know, strength that way and then tie it in with a single bolt here and then maybe run some steel up or like maybe like a steel frame or something I could, I could put on the inside of that. I don't know. That might not actually be a bad idea, so we'll see. But this is, I guess, I guess done until it's you know finished bodywork time. But I'm pretty pleased with that. So I'm excited to make more things now, and then uh, soon enough we'll get to the seat pan. That'll be exciting. So awesome.